My first feeling was that uh, I, I started to think about their reaction to Egypt closing down the internet. Uh, and uh, I think that they need to learn to practice what they preach when it comes to freedom of information. Uh, and I think if they would do that, uh, we will find ways to uh, reroute the um, flow of information, just like was done in Egypt. You can't shut down society like that. I'm very disappointed in this call for censorship because it says to me that they believe that the answer to bad speech is less speech and control of speech. When it's pretty clear over time we've seen that the, the answer to bad speech, whatever bad is, is more speech. They seem to think that the internet is the reason for the protest, which it's not. It's just one of very many different tools to communicate information. Uh, and I don't think actually from what I've been hearing that uh, people were not using Facebook or Twitter to organize themselves, they were actually using Blackberries. Nobody would ask for people to take away their telephone or landline so they lose their connection. Nobody would say that. But if it's about the internet, people talk about taking away their access to the internet or even stopping the redistribution of their messages. So as if the messages are the problems. I mean, there's a reason why, pe why people uprise. Usually they are uh, disempowered and they uh, act out their anger. So um, actually it's like shooting the messenger. Uh, but the internet itself isn't the problem. If someone does something bad on the internet, like a crime, he's just another criminal, like in the real world. Uh, if someone robs the bank, is a criminal. If someone breaks in at NASA, he's also a criminal. Nothing special about it. I think it's clearly, clearly a sign of, of some kind of panic, basically. They don't really know what to do and they blame the internet. It's been seen it before. I think that this is consistent with the anti-democratic properties of the British society, which is this sort of authoritarian, top-down approach to basically telling people what to do. And they use these riots as an excuse to control their population even more. And that isn't to say that the riots aren't serious, and it isn't to say that they shouldn't be doing something. But it is to say that it is a power grab in a time of crisis to push forward an agenda of greater authoritarian control. The internet shutdown in the country close to us would make people realize how easy it is to break things. And I think that would be useful sometimes. And so if you really want to see anything on the internet, if you want to post something, do it anonymously, there will always be a way.